All right, uh, Project 119, Algorithms and Art. This is going to be video two. Video one, we investigated an idea and kind of brainstormed ideas of what we wanted to do. I talked about my idea. I'm going to pull something from Among Us. I'm going to do the little, the little the thing in electrical with the circles that spin. And so now that we've done all this, we brainstormed, we've painted digit group, I'm going to demonstrate the planning area. So first... Let's pull it up. I gotta, gotta see what, what it looks, looks like again. again. Oh, wait, yeah, I gotta turn it on. So, electrical. I forgot which one it is. I think it's Calibrate Distributor. Here we go. Alright, it's this one. So, I wanna get this screen working. I don't want to hear the sound. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use it right here. And that's what's going. So I want to recreate this image. And eventually I want it to move. I just want to show where the circle's moving. So I might just make it move. So what's the best way to approach this? I'm going to do side by side. What I want you to do, so in the step six or eight, you got the software development projects often organized into milestones, a list of tasks that need to get done by a certain date. So you want to break this up. You want to break your project down into milestones. So you don't just say, I'm going to make this big thing. I want to like break it into chunks so you can do one chunk at a time and feel good about yourself. Problem decomposition is the process of breaking a complex problem down into its, its parts that make up the whole. And this part, the incremental development process, you decompose the artistic artifact into the smaller features, then define milestones. So and this is how you do it with, I think, you know, big programming projects. You don't want to try to do everything at once. Try to do one thing at a time. And when that works, add the next thing. So decompose the problem, identify major parts of your program, and decide what the various parts do. These are the features. Then decide when each whether each is feasible, meaning whether each is doable. Be sure that all features are feasible and choose what to develop first, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate this and this is how I break it down for my students here. If you're in a group, um, write down who's in your group again, write down your plan. So if this was me, I'm gonna make a copy for myself so I don't head at the wrong thing. So I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate doing this. See, just so I have records. So, okay, Brophy 2020. Sure. Hello to watchers of this video in the future. This is 2020. The coronavirus just began a few months ago. Is it over yet? By the time you're watching this, who knows? It's just me and my group. What's your plan? What's it called again? I'm going to do the Calibrate Distributor, right? Probably this task. Or is it, it's not fixed wiring or download data, definitely not. Uh, the Calibrate Distributor task in Among Us. This is the one with the circle wheels. Sure. That's my plan. So how would I break this up? I'm going to do this side by side. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So let's do, I think my chunk, first chunk is going to be, um, one chunk would be like the background, like the gray background. I, I kind of want to have the gray background box in there. Yeah, you can join the breakout room with your partners, folks. Yeah, uh, feel free to do that. I, I guess I didn't respond earlier. My bad. Oops, sorry. It doesn't give me messages when... Like, I wish the Zoom would, like, do a chime whenever someone says something in chat. Or like if they whispered me, that'd be nice. So I do the gray background, rectangle things. Uh, the chunks are the 
Let's do, I can do yellow, blue, and cyan wheels. Maybe I want to break those up into three separate wheels, right? All right. Another thing is like, like the dark gray wiring. Gray, is it gray with an A or E? I think it can be both. My bad, not saying anything before. The dark gray wiring things, those are kind of details I'll do eventually. Uh, you want to do the um, the bars on the on the right side. So the yellow, blue, cyan bars. And then you probably want to do the button on the right. The buttons, plural. So I'm just kind of like, okay, one thing at a time I want to draw, right? And then eventually I'm going to break this up in a different chunk. You can like, I'm going to say the motion of the circles is a separate chunk, but you can make it not a separate chunk. I'm going to say that. And then you might even, and if I'm just doing that one, maybe I say for a seventh chunk, my recommendation was three to six chunks. You might just have two. You might have more. I don't know. I'm not trying to fast. Oh, I'm not doing that meeting. Delete. No. No meeting. No. I want to do the the filling up the bar on the right. Okay, so I don't know what they're called. I'm just going to write that. All right, so I've done my chunks. Can you accomplish these checks with the current knowledge and within project time frame? Died. I'm going to say, sure, I can. I'll believe in myself. I mean, if you think that's, but it, this might be, you know, too challenging. What you want to do, this is part where you think, huh, should I be doing this or not? I don't know. Now, after each of these things, what I want you to do is choose which feature to develop first, which to develop last. So think about where you want to start with all these. Now, I kind of did already. So let's, I, I did a little bit as I was putting those in. I'm going to add a few more rows. And then let's set a timeline for these. Or when I say date complete, you might say how many class days you expect it to take. I don't know. And it's kind of hard because like how much time, and more maybe you say how many hours you think it's going to take. Or you maybe you want to have a date, an actual date, like on this date, on October 10th, I will be done with these parts. That'd be good too. So usually when I say date, I want an actual date, but so you can do that too, or you can do it on how long you think you should, you want to spend on each of these or whatever you want to do. I don't really care. So which feature do I want to do first? I kind of like doing, you know, I don't want to do the background first. I want to, do the, I want to just draw the wheels first because I think that sets where everything is. So I want to do the, let's draw the wheels first. I can do this in, let's see, one day. Or maybe I said date, it's the eighth right now. For my class, I'm going to say, hey, we're going to do this the eighth through the 16th. Uh, let's say I'm going to get this done. Date completes 10-10. 10, 10, 20. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to make, okay, the, the background. The back, the gray background. So I'm going to have that done, I don't know, not on the weekend. I don't want to work on the weekend. So on the 13th, that'd be Monday. And then I want to have the, 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 let's, I think I want the bars. I want to have those done. Let's say I have this on the 14th. And then, oh, I need more. Oh, no, I got a lot more. What else would I want to have? Um, let's go the details. The dark gray. <laughs> Spell gray differently. Wiring. 
the number details. All those number details and things. Let's say I have them done the next day. Sure. And then the bars on the right, those. I also want to have, like, see the buttons on the right. Let's say I can also have those done on the 15th. I don't think that should take too long if I can do the dark gray wiring. Actually, this thing, maybe that does take longer. There's a lot of weird details in here. And then let's say um, motion for the circles. And let's say, because I want to finish this up. Oh, that was the 15th already? Jeez. Oh, yeah, I said 13th because we have no school. 14th, 15th. Okay, motion for the circles. And filling up the bars. Let's say I want to have both these done on the 16th. I don't know. I feel like, oh boy. Maybe I can get certain things done quicker. I don't know. I'm putting targets for myself. If I did this in little chunks. So there I go. Get something like that done. At least the point, like the whole point of this is I'm thinking, okay. It's like, where do you tackle this? Well, I just want a static image. So like, I'm going to just take a snip. I'm not going to make it move right away. But I like just taking, like, boom. I'm going to get that screenshot. I'm going to recreate this. Yeah. And there I go. Now, it'd be nice. So when I'm doing this, I'm thinking, like, now, when you don't know how long it's going to take, now, I can make a gray rectangle pretty easily. But do I want to have this kind of shadowing in there? I could, I could put that shadowing in too. Might take a little time. That, see, like, details like that might take longer. So that's where some of this, like, oh, the gray background, easy. Maybe I'd do that on the first day. I don't know. So up to you guys. But that's my plan. And we'll see how it goes. We'll do the next video next time. Thank you.